Hello, everybody. Ken Gonzalez here for George Langevin Productions, and we have ourselves a girls under 13 match. Just about set to start. There in green, you've got the Modesto Ajax Arsenal. And in white, they're going up against a team from Canada, the Semiamu Soccer Cobras. So the Cobras and the Arsenal here today. And we're on the beautiful turfed complex here at Kellogg Zaire Soccer Complex. And first off, shot towards the net, and it's going to be over the crossbar. So right off the bat, Modesto Ajax taking a shot on goal. And a goal kick coming up for the Cobras. I'll get you the rosters for each of these squads. Great game here. A great day for a game, I should say. In fact, a great weekend of games and weather here predicted in Las Vegas. Although the finals and semifinals might have a little trouble on Monday as there's a storm moving in Sunday night. So this field playing north-south right now. And in the background there on the far side you can see one of the famous strip hotels. The Stratosphere. And right now the Cobra is now moving into the backfield of the Arsenal. Number 14 trying to get around a defender there, Jenna Bercy. And it's the Arsenal taking the ball away and moving up towards midfield. Arsenal with a shot to the goal, and there's the keeper, Madison Terrell. Madison with the hat there. We'll clear it out towards the near side. Nice kick. And let's see what happens there. The header by Ajax, Arsenal. And it goes out here on the near side. Still green ball, number four. Cat Thomas will put the ball into play. And it rolls towards the back line. Number 18, Kristen Arnold now moves inside. Deflected towards the center. And the white jerseys will clear it out. Just about five minutes into this 35-minute half. We got 70 minutes of soccer here today. Nice ball saved on the far side, number eight. Matty Zanotto, Z as they call her, but Z just a touch too late and the ball will roll out. So for Modesto, Katie Foster is the goalkeeper. Number two is Stacy Murillo. Number three is Adriana Jimenez, Yaya Jimenez. Number four is Catherine Thomas, Cat. Number six is Matty Meyer. Number seven is Madison Arnebeck. Number eight, Madison Zanotto. Number nine, Caitlin Ketchum. Number 10 is Vanessa Serrato. Number 11, Haley Smithers. Number 13, Alex Laranga. Number 14, Rachel Carpenter. Number 15, Felicia Romo. Number 17 is Tina Benson. And number 18, Kristen Arnold. And for the Cobras, the Simiamu Soccer Club. The keeper, Madison Tyrell. She's number two. We've got an injured player for the Cobras down. Haley Price, number three, and that's number four on the ground. Leah Craig, so hopefully she'll be able to resume. Number five, Misha Basarish. Number six is Morgan Dale. Number seven, Emily Sampson. Number eight is Sheno Fraser. Number nine, Olivia Podmore. Number 10 is Madison Kerr. Number 11, Becky Roeder. Number 12, Michelle Anderson. Number 13 is Brittany Marco. Number 14, Jenna Bercy. Number 15 is Claire Cameron. Number 16, Nikki Quinn. And number 17 is Melissa Smilly. The head coach is Julia Marco. The assistant coach, Greg Cameron. And the administrator, Karen Kerr. Team manager for the Arsenal is Mark Ketchum. So you've got the rosters. We've got a stoppage in play as Leah Craig injured on the ground. And we'll have a substitution here for the Cobras. Craig gets up, and she's going to be helped off the field. Hopefully, she'll come back. So the Cobras will 
We'll start the ball rolling here on the near side. Just as the Cobras bring it into the backfield of the Arsenal. The Arsenal taking the ball the other way. Number 18, Kristen Arnold. And her pass here to the near side is just a little bit too strong. And will roll out. The ball is going to play relatively fast here. This artificial service is a little thick, so... It's not going to roll like some of those old artificial surfaces where it's basically a piece of carpet over some concrete. There's a lot of give to it. Shot towards the goal. It's going to be deflected away and just out across the back line near the far post. That ball wasn't going to be anywhere near the net when it was shot. It was going to be well wide, but then it was deflected and changed its direction, and it came a little bit closer. And so the Arsenal, their second shot on goal here the first half and another goal kick here no actually it's that's right it was deflected off the defender so it is a corner kick now for the arsenal number 13 alex laranga alex is ready here comes the corner lofted up into the air nicely comes down deflected away unable to control the ball inside the box there was arsenal but that's always a tough thing to do and the ball comes out here towards midfield. And as we're just getting a feel for this match here in the early goings, it seems pretty much even. Perhaps Arsenal just a touch quicker. But we have no score. Ball out here on the near side. Number 11 for the Cobras running that ball down near the back line, Becky Roeder. And Kristen Arnold comes over, takes it away. There's the cross and it's deflected out. Actually saved from going out near that back line. With the left leg in front of the net, the header keeps it away. And just enough for the keeper, Katie Foster, to come down with it. But she's going to lose it. It's going to roll out across the back line. And so another corner kick opportunity for the Arsenal, number 13, Alex Laranga. Again, from that far side, will take the kick. Another thing here at this complex, as you see, Alex retrieved that ball. There's another field, you know, a little bit lower here, down that side. So when the balls go out over there, there isn't too much room, and it just rolls all the way down. So it does take some time to bring it back. So on the corner, all they do is put the ball into play. Now they're out here on the, near, on the far side, near the corner of that box. Now it rolls over to the other side of the field. Arsenal doing everything they can to try and center that ball, and that time it's a little too much. And a goal kick here for the Cobras. The Arsenal last year's champs here in this age division. So a squad that's used to winning. And it looks so far like they've got their hands full here against this Cobra squad. Laranga, number 13, keeps her cross on the ground, and it's booted away over to the far side. That'll go out, but it will be green ball. And number eight, Z will put the ball into play. Z over to Laranga. Laranga trying to get around the wing right there.
So we'll await the ball coming into play from the far side. Green ball. Number 12 there in the corner. So the Cobras put the ball into play in the corner there. And we got it. We had mentioned number 12 for the Arsenal a little bit earlier, <clears throat> and that is actually Tina Benson. Tina Benson switching from number 17 to number 12. And number 17 is actually the keeper now, Katie Foster. So we have that straightened out here. And the ball out on the far side off the Cobras and will belong to Modesto. I think we had a push, well, could have been a push to the back, but it may be that they just started play a little bit too soon. Substitution coming in from the near side, and so the Arsenal will put the ball into play again. And one thing we've noticed here early on about the Arsenal is they like to spread the field here on the near side. Number four, Cat Thomas towards the net. Nobody home there, and it's cleared away to the back line, and so we'll have a corner kick coming up for... Modesto. Catherine, off you go. Get in there with them. Haley, get in there with them. Let's find our red. Alex with the kick. Keeps it on the ground. Scoots away. And Arsenal keeping the pressure on the Cobras defense. Number 18 again. Kristen Arnold. Cobra is trying to push it out of the box, away from their net. When it comes in deep here, they're having no difficulty at all keeping the Arsenal out of the net right now, but they could get worn down here as their defense has to be on their heels, and they've spent a lot of time back here on the right half of the field. We mentioned Katie Foster. I'm not sure we've seen her yet here in this match. So the corner here on the near side for the Arsenal. It looks like they're just gonna set it up, that's right. As they did the last time over on the far side. They didn't attack, they just set it up. That cross, you know, a lot of traffic right there. It's gonna be deflected out and the goal kick for the Cobras. The head coach of the Arsenal squad, Mark Vallee. Get that in there. So I didn't mention his name when we gave you the rosters for these squads. And that goal kick just a little bit too fast and out here on the near side. I'm not sure if these girls here are used to playing on an artificial surface. Perhaps in Canada if the weather doesn't allow, not exactly sure which part of Canada they're in, but they get a lot of snow. They may be playing indoors on a lot of artificial surfaces. So it looks like right now they're, they're trying to get used to how fast the ball is going to move on the ground. Because sometimes now when they lead it up on their passes, it's just a little bit too fast and the ball takes off and they don't have enough to catch up to it. So let's see if they make that adjustment. Number 10 here into the backfield, Vanessa Serrato. And the Cobras have managed now to bring the ball across midfield. So let's see if they can set up an attack now. It's green ball, number 11, Haley Smithers. Retrieving the ball on the far side. There's the throw in. And it's going to be off the leg of Madison Zanato. So Z off her leg. All right, let's see the Cobras now. And there's Katie Foster, the keeper. It's Morgan Dale, their number six. 
And on the bottom of your screen, number 15 there for the Cobras, Claire Cameron. And right now they've got to get back on defense. Here come the Arsenal. There's the cross. Oh, a little bit too much, but they have an outlet here on the near side. Number 11 providing the defense here for the Cobras, Becky Roeder. The ball goes out across the back line, hitting the ground. Player for the Arsenal. Number 14, Rachel Carpenter. And she'll get up. And I hate to say it, she looks like she'll be okay. She's probably stung a bit, but she's going to stay in the match. And a corner kick here for the Arsenal. Surprised they didn't whistle a penalty in the box there. The ball rolled out, and it's to the Arsenal. Number 13, Alex Loranga will take it. And again, they set it up. Slowly dribble it towards the net. See if that defense will get in there for the Cobras. Shot to the goal, deflected away. And now the white jerseys will clear it up to midfield. Number seven, you see her right there, Emily Sampson for the Cobras. Also in the corner, Olivia Podmore, number nine. There's number six, Morgan Dale. They got in the six and the eight mixed up there a little bit earlier. Shannon Fraser, number eight. She falls back for defense. Ball on the side, and again, white jerseys making it tough once they get down in here. Number five, Misha Be Basarish with the deflection there. It goes off the Cobra, so we'll have a corner kick coming for the Arsenal from the far corner. Alex Laronga. And it'll be her teammate, number nine, Caitlin Ketchup, who just starts the ball off over to Alex. Cobra's defense. Let's see if they're tough again. We're gonna get a whistle, and whatever it was, it's going against the Arsenal. Substitutions for the Arsenal, number three. Yaya, Adriana Jimenez into the match, and number seven, Madison Arnebeck. Quickly, Cobras with the ball into play, number 12 there. Michelle Anderson trying to get to the ball, and she does. Kicks it upfield. The green jerseys will step into the way. Number seven there, Emily Sampson. Ball out of the far side, off green. And we've played 20 minutes now of this 35-minute match. 35-minute first half, it is. Shot to the net and a save right there by Madison Tyrell, the keeper. So just about 15 minutes to go. First half, no score. Cobra is across midfield now, and that's going to be number 10 bringing it across, Madison Kerr. And it's off Modesto, so Madison will put the ball into play. We've got a, an abundance of Madisons on these squads, two each. Loronga, across midfield. Just gets away from number five, Basarish. And now it'll roll to the back line. It's a foot raise. Number 11 trying to get there, Becky Roeder. Melissa Smilly, number 17 was responsible for helping bring that ball up towards or across midfield for the Cobras, but then it was sent back the other way by Carson. It's always great to do teams that aren't from the area in which the tournament originates. George Langevin Productions, we travel all over the country doing games for a lot of different teams and you know sometimes we go to Dallas or Denver or Colorado I should say I uh, do some tournaments 
Phoenix. We tend to do a lot of games for Southern California teams because they know us. That's where we're based. Coming out here in Las Vegas, we do a lot of Las Vegas squads. And in Phoenix as well. But it's always great to come out here. And, you know, Modesto up from Northern California. Obviously the Canadian team here, the Cobras. So it's refreshing to get a look at teams and the way they play from other parts of the world, really. Action there in the middle. Actually near that far sideline, I should say. Cobras now, in the last couple of minutes, as you see number 17 getting to the ball, Melissa Smilly. Cobras now trying to penetrate into the backfield of Arsenal. And, you know, they've kept the action here on the left half of the field for the last minute or two. So now they're slowly getting their offensive game in check and their sets going and getting their people up front. So, you know, they may be settling down here in this match. There's no score. But as we said and as you've seen, their defense has been extremely busy. That'll be Cobra Ball on the far side. Olivia Podmore, number nine, puts the ball into play. It's at midfield. And back and forth it goes. Collision there. No whistle. Nobody gained any sort of an advantage. In fact, the other team really controlled the ball right now. And that'll roll into the circle and cleared to the left half by the Cobras. And now here come the Cobras. Let's see, do they have anybody here on the near side? The ball is going to roll and roll and roll to the corner. Another foot race. Number 10 here on the near side, Madison Kerr. Into the middle now, number seven, Emily Sampson. Misha Basarish there, number five as well. So again, Cobras spreading the field here. Now the action moves to the near side. Smilly again, number 17. And now it's Arsenal having difficulty as Ketchum has the ball, bringing it up towards midfield. She dribbles it nicely in a kick upfield and across. And now that ball is going to roll into the backfield of the Cobras. Madison Terrell with a kick, but it doesn't go as far as planned. Sarish will clear it over to the far side. It will go out, and it'll be green ball. And we have just about 10 minutes remaining here in the first half. No score. So as both teams battle for control of the ball, it goes out on the far side. Semiyamu Soccer with the free kick. And a roll still in play down the far sideline. And finally out, but still belongs to White, so Cobra Ball. Both teams a little difficulty over on the far side, keeping the ball in play. And looks like the Arsenal are going to have a substitution here. And looks like two substitutions. Alex Z, or Al Alex Laranga, that is. Number 12 into the match, Tina Benson. So she's back in after a break. There you see number six, Morgan Dale up front there for the Cobras. Michelle Anderson as well, number 12, ball taken away, and now the Arsenal will race down the far sideline near the corner. 
Now they'll hold it up, bring it out. Let's see if they go up top to set something up here. And that center pass is going to be taken away by the Cobras. Number four, dribbling. There's Cat Thomas. just going to keep rolling over and out across the back line. Nobody touched it, I do not believe. And so it will be a goal kick now for the Cobras. Stopped there by Laranga, number 13, and actually Laranga. Perhaps I had the wrong player. Did not come out. She's still in the match. Shot to the goal, and that's going to be wide of that near post right there. So again, the Arsenal coming close to a score, but just wide. And now the Cobras with an opportunity to clear the ball away. Just about six or seven minutes remaining here in the first half. Cobras now wanting to bring it upfield number six. Morgan Dale there battling right at midfield. Can Dale get to the ball right there? Arsenal clearing it upfield. here on the near side. And again, that ball. We'll head to the corner and Becky Roeder and number four, Cat Thomas. Both of them. They've been having their little foot race there this first half. And that ball finally goes out and so it's off white. But Desto puts the ball back into play here. with a little touch pass there, but it's deflected and a little flick. That yeah, wasn't really a flick, just a little, a little pass, trying to get it in the middle, but it was deflected out, put it back into play. Felicia Romo, number 15, might have taken a shot to the quadricep right there. She gets going. Near handball right there. Morgan Dale had no, nowhere to go, really. She kicked the ball, it deflected. It went right back at her and hit her lower chest there. So play resumes or, or continues, I should say, without a whistle. Hard collision over on the far side. And they're going to give the ball to the Cobras. I don't know how you sort that one out. But the Cobras. Let's see, number nine, Olivia Podmore on the far side. She'll take that free kick. Here it comes. Up top, now it's rolled back out. Fires the ball across midfield. And again, getting back there, number 11, Becky Roeder. 
Rode is going to be tripped up. The ball is out in the near side, and they say it still belongs to the Arsenal. Now I'm a little concerned. Or they, there's a lot of activity now going on out on the field. A lot of collisions, a lot of tripping, and no whistles by the center referee. That ball just goes out. It could have easily gone either way. A penalty should have, actually, whenever you've got a trip like that. But... Not really calling if they're letting it go. And actually, we've seen that quite a bit here this weekend. Referees just letting them play. And to an extent, that's what you want to do. But the tripping and the hits from behind are another story. Ball out again on the near side. And again, it belongs to the Arsenal as they come in deep and perhaps giving themselves an opportunity here towards the end of the first half to try to get another shot or two on goal. Throw, comes in, nice throw, takes a good bounce, and the header puts it into the middle. Let's see if the Cobras can clear it away. Bounces towards the back line. Podmore running it down. Number 12 getting there, Tina Benson. Benson with a little pass, keeping it alive. I believe that's catch him there. Shot over to the far side. Just wide of the far post. And again, the Arsenal just missing. Hearing those familiar whistles for halftime at the fields around us, so not too much time left here in this first half. Under five minutes. To keep an eye on the referee. Ten here on the near side for the Cobras, Madison Kerr. Now they're going to use that back line and the whistle. And let's see, is that the end of the half or was it an offside? It's perhaps an offside because they're going to set up the kick right here on the near side. So a break for the Cobras. Off the leg of number four. Cat Thomas, should be white ball. Ball bounce across midfield and number 15 will Send it down the other way towards the right half. Felicia Romo for the Arsenal. And Cobras will put the ball into play. Number 13 with a touch there. Brittany Marco. And Brittany will have it taken away from her and out. So she should be able to put the ball into play. And she does. That's going to be off of Romo. And now we're here on the left half of the field. So perhaps the Cobras will get the last opportunity for a score here in the first half. Remember, we're tied at zero. And there's Brittany. Her toss towards the middle. And let's see a whistle on that penalty will go again against the Cobras. Ball in the circle. And let's see, is that the whistle? It is. So the end of the first half. A very exciting first half with these two girls under 13 squads, the Arsenal and the Cobras. You see the Arsenal here on the near side. So we'll take our break here for halftime. Ken Gonzalez for George Langerman Productions. We've got no scores. We hit in a half, and we'll start the final 35 minutes of play in just a few minutes. Ken Gonzalez for George Lange Event Productions. We're back for the start of the second half of this girls under 13 match. The squads have switched sides. And we start the final 35 minutes here. Tied at 0-0, number 11 for the Arsenal. Haley Smithers runs out of room here. The 
ball is out across the back line, and so we'll have a corner coming up for the Arsenal, number 13, Alex Laranga. Alex's corner skips on the ground, and it's going to be knocked out by number nine, Olivia Podmore, and we'll have a corner again. You see there the keeper for the Cobras, Madison Terrell. So here comes the second corner in a row. They bring it out just a bit more to try to give themselves a chance to set up offensively. Arsenal run it down. Now it's over on the far side, number 17, Katie Foster. So Katie Foster, who was the keeper in the first half, is now in the field to play there. Number 17, there she is with the touch. And so the Arsenal, after going tied 0-0 in that first half, decide to switch keepers. But, you know, it, it's probably more than just switching keepers. That shot to the goal is going to be over the bar and out. So a goal kick coming up for the Cobras. It may be that they need, and we've never seen this Arsenal squad play before, but it may be that they need Katie Foster's speed and ability up front. And that may be why they've made this change. Just about set here for the goal kick. Number 14 here for the Cobras on the near side, Jenna Bercy. And Jenna trying to get to that ball, but it's going to be knocked here to the side and out off of number 11, Haley Smithers. And so we should have the ball going to White. And actually, they're giving it to Arsenal. I'm not sure how that worked. That ball goes out across the back line, and this time it is a goal kick. Well, clearly. That ball was, actually, it's a corner kick. Clearly, before the ball was knocked out by Smithers, number 11, and given here to the near side now on the corner kick for the Arsenal. So a break for the Arsenal. Let's see if they capitalize on it right in front of the net, cleared away by the Cobras. Up front now, or up top, I should say. A little touch right there, and the penalty goes against the Arsenal. Cobras quickly want to get the ball rolling. Nice kick across midfield. Oronga. Alex kicks it upfield, and that's an offside. Did a little investigating there at halftime, and Semiamu up near Vancouver, just southeast of Vancouver, British Columbia. So here on the West Coast side of the continent. They enjoy the same weather as folks in Seattle or even Modesto, for that matter. The ball out here on the near side. Cobras. Into play, number nine, Olivia Podmore. And in it, keeper now for the Arsenal, since Katie Foster is up front, is Caitlin Ketchum, number nine. near the back line. Now they're going to dribble it out and taken away by the white jerseys. But not far enough. That shot's going to go to the net and right into the hands of the keeper. Madison makes the catch. And she'll boot the ball here to the near side. It rolls and save from going out. Nice job, number 14 here. Jenna Bercy. A 
ball roll just a little too fast. It goes out on the near side and will belong to the Cobras. So really back and forth. No team has really decided to take control of matters here in the second half. We're still tied at zero. Number 13 there for the Cobras, Brittany Marco again. Now the ball moves into the middle, number three. Yaya Jimenez, that shot to the goal, and it's going to be just wide of that far post. So a couple of shots on goal here for the second, in the second half for the Arsenal, but they haven't been able to come up with that score. And now the goal kick coming from the far side of the box there. I think that is Podmore. Tina Benson, number 12 on the far side, keeps the ball in play. Now it skips over to number six, Maddie Moyer. So Moyer upfield. She tried to find her teammate, Yaya. The ball was deflected out at the last second and actually belongs to the Cobras. Nice cross in front of the net, still in front. And let's see a whistle. Was there contact inside? It's going to go against the Cobras. Obviously, you see the reaction of some of the Ajax Arsenal squad players there. That was very dangerous for the Cobras. Madison Terrell was there, though. And now they bring it up away from the net. But can they dribble up across midfield? Taken away. Nice job, number 11 here, Haley Smithers. Smithers now moves. She was going to the far side, cut, tried to go upfield, loses her footing. But her teammate there, Kat Thomas, will recover for her. And the ball's still in play here on the left half. Loranga trying to dribble away through three white jerseys. She gets some help. Arsenal still with the ball here on the left half of the field. Benson over towards the corner. Loranga again is going to take an angle. Inside, there's her cross. Number six, Maddie Moyer. And that shot on goal is going to be just a little bit too tall. And the goal kick here now for the Cobras. So we're getting ourselves into a bit of a kickball match now. Just back and forth it goes, and number five will set up on that far corner there for the goal kick, Misha Basarish. Misha with that strong leg, angles it over to the far side. Cobras, number 10, Madison Kerr. Needs some help, goes right back into her backfield. Now it goes across midfield. Benson pushes that upfield near the corner. Getting there quick from behind, number 15, Claire Cameron for the Cobras. And that ball is out. So goal kick for the Cobras, number nine, Olivia Podmore. One here by Arsenal. 
They continue to push in that final third of the field. Into the middle. Little push there. Number 18, oh, just on the wrong side of her body. Christian Arnold, and she's going to be called for the handball right there. Ball goes over to the white squad, to the Cobras. Kristen Arnold gets some help here. Haley Smithers, and Smithers will be angled out. The ball rolls across the back line. Last touch by the Arsenal. And I'm wrong again. It was last touched by the white squad, by the Cobras, as Alex Laranga heading over to the corner for the kick. Short of the net. Now it's going to roll out here to the near side. Alex gets back to it. Shot to the goal. Oh, that looked good, but it was just over the crossbar. Madison Terrell jumped up, watched. It was just over. Nice shot there by number 13, Alex Loronga, trying to put his squad up. So that results in the goal kick here for the Cobras. Looks like they're going to keep the ball over on that far side. And Ranga's going to win it. Now she looks to the net, and she's determined now. A little bit of momentum for Arsenal. Now in the middle. Oh, cleared away. They can't get a shot. That one will go to the net, and that's going to be wide. So I think what's happening here, the Arsenal, they've got the ball down here in the left half of the field. They're pinning the defense. They've kept it down here most of the second half. And now they're just saying, look, if we get an open shot, we're just going to take it. It's second half. We're tied at zero. One goal, more than likely, is going to win this match. So why not just keep firing, even if it's from 20 yards out or so? And that's what's happening. And they've just missed a few times. Moranga again, nice change of direction. She's right in front. The shot to the goal is going to be deflected away from the keeper. Second chance opportunity by number three. Yaya Jimenez just off the mark. So no score on the goal kick for the Cobras who dodge a huge bullet right there. And we remain scoreless. Again, one by Green Benson. There's her cross, and it's going to hit the side of the net. She had three strikers head into the net, but it cross was just off the mark and hits the side. Cobras now got to be thinking that they've got to push the ball away from their backfield. It's been down here long enough, and. When that happens, there's a shot to the goal. And that's going to be wide. Number 18, Christian Arnold. All it takes, all it takes is one mistake by half a step for everything to come crashing down. They've held up defensively so far. Now they've got to push their offense up. Oranga, number 13. Oh, just as she makes a move, picked her pocket. Now taken away on the near side. Cobras, number 14 with a nice dribble set right there, Jenna Bursey. But she'll have the ball taken away. And the problem right now for the Cobras, they can't bring the ball across midfield. Their sets, their kicks, whether it be a free kick or the goal kick from their backfield, they just can't get enough leg on it to send it up field long enough to get their wings to run and now they're getting out and running across midfield and so what's happening is it's making it very tough as those kicks are only going about halfway out of their territory there from the net they're picked up 
by Arsenal, and they've got a very short distance to go to the net. So quick, 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 they've got to figure out a way to dribble that ball up across midfield. Kristen Arnold here on the near side. Nice play on or by Olivia Podmore, number nine. It's off Olivia. Throw comes in. Here comes Arsenal, number 11, Haley Smithers. There's her cross in front of the net. Deflected by the last line of defense right there. There's Brittany Marco, number 13. Kicks it up across midfield. It's in the circle. That was Katie Foster, number 17. And she had sent it right back to catch him, the keeper. And that kick goes right to the middle of the field. And now Foster getting out and running towards the corner, being chased by number 17, Melissa Smilly, or number 15, that is, Claire Cameron. Ball is out off white, and so a nice spot here on the throw-in for the Arsenal. And that kick will hit the side. So another goal kick here for the Cobras. Arsenal now. They become a little jumpy with their long passes and shots on goal. You know, they may want to try to start dribbling. They, they spend so much time down here that it might be worth some of their effort here to dribble it a bit, have a few more passes before they take that shot on goal. So these two squads have played now. 52 minutes of this 70-minute 70, 70 match, and we have no score. So very slow here on the goal kick, and let's see where the Cobras go with it. They're waiting for the whistle. Here they come. Arnold. And that ball rolls into the hands of Madison Terrell, the keeper. Nice strong kick this time. Nice job. That's what they need right there, the Cobras. Even though they didn't win that ball and it goes out, they've pinned now Arsenal in their own territory. And quickly, Arsenal bring it across midfield, but that's what the Cobras need to do. They need to get that ball deep in their territory. The wind is picked up, and actually it's at their back, so a little advantage now for the Cobras. It's going to help those kicks. They keep them up into the air. Arnold wants to move, and just as she makes her move inside, the referee comes over, didn't like something, and perhaps a card. Just a talking to right there, no card, and so the ball will belong to the Arsenal here on the near side. The free kick, nice position. Lofted into the air, and that's gonna be wide of the net, and so a goal kick for the Cobras, and let's watch this kick and see if it'll penetrate past midfield. Oh, the kick here to the near side. They tried to get it up to number 12, Michelle Anderson. And I tell you, that might have been a good idea because Anderson had a lot of room to run here on the near side. And the ball just out, just away from her, and she couldn't catch up to it. Nice job right there by the Cobras, clearing it up and away. Brittany runs in a little bit of trouble. Now, number 11, Haley Smithers makes her move. But again, just back and forth, a couple of touches on each side. For all the trouble that the Cobras have had clearing it across midfield, 
Arsenal have not been able to capitalize really. As we're still tied at zero and there's some deep penetration there by the Cobras into the backfield of the Arsenal. Collision there and the Arsenal gonna lose the ball. It comes up across midfield. Kristen Arnold now in the middle. A little touch pass up front. Smithers, number 11 to the far side. Moranga, there's a cross and it's gonna go right in the hands of the keeper. Madison Terrell, Madison. She'll have an opportunity to boot it, nice job. Just into the circle here before midfield. And now here come the Cobras across midfield, number 12. Michelle Anderson. Oh, near takeaway. I tell you, if Emily Sampson was able to take that ball away, she'd have had a clear shot to the goal. But the Arsenal taking it away. Now they dribble it across midfield. There's a nice cross pass right there to the far side. And again, the white jerseys get back. So as the clock ticks down, we may end up with a scoreless tie here. Number nine, Olivia Podmore on the far side with the goal kick. And we've now played 57 minutes of this 70 minute match. Goes upfield. Arsenal trying to set something up. Number 17 getting back to the ball, Katie Foster. Gets some help from Tina Benson. Foster still with it. Rolls over to the far side and number 15 gets in front between Foster and the ball. That's Claire Cameron. And Claire will help her squad win that one. Ball into play by the Cobras on the far side. Arsenal again, let's see, they come up top from the outside, now they come in, number three here, Yaya Jimenez with a pass, shot to the goal. Number nine, Caitlin Ketchum. But it's saved by the keeper, and Ketchum now out of the box, and so the keeper for the Arsenal now is Cat Thomas. Number four. Pass up here to number 14. There's Rachel Carpenter for the Arsenal. Coming across number eight. There's Z, Madison Zanato. Z over to the far side. Now it comes right back to her. Trying to set something up up top. And Katie Foster over to the far side. That ball rolls toward the corner. Picked up and stopped by Benson. Nice play. And they run out of room, and that ball goes out. So another goal kick here for the Cobras. So the third keeper in now for the Arsenal. Cat Thomas, and again, you know. Mark Valet, the keeper, or the uh, head coach for the Arsenal. Wants offense right now. He sees, obviously, for the first 60 minutes of this match, Cobra's having a difficult time of getting any shots on goal. And now they've penetrated, and so the keeper, Cat Thomas, has to be on her toes now as the Cobras come in deep. Ball on the ground, shot to the goal, and scooped up by Thomas. She'll roll it out here to the near side, and then we want to get out and run. So, Cobras now with some offense. 
And now you've got Ketchum up in the field of play as well as Foster. They're trying to throw everything offensively at this Cobra squad. Try to get something to fall. bounce there Smithers number 11 threads the needle between a couple of defenders can she get a shot no Podmore comes over angles are out and will push her over to the corner nice job by Olivia Podmore number nine to the Cobras Katie Foster now right in the middle shot to the net here to the near side the header by number 10, Vanessa Serrato goes into the hands of Madison Terrell, the keeper. And that ball's gonna be out here on the near side and will belong to the Cobras. Cobras put the ball into play. Marco there, number 13, and they just can't get anything going up top there, and the Arsenal bring it back across midfield the other way. Number 10 there, Madison Kerr for the Cobras. Foster keeps the ball in the left half, pass upfield. There's Alex Laranga. Now Tina Benson, number 12, stops. Now into the middle, oh, pass not quick enough and it's deflected away by the Cobras over to the far side. Foster chases it down and it will be Arsenal ball on the far side. We've played 62 minutes now of this 70 minute match. Cobras clear it up towards midfield and it will bounce out across midfield. Green ball. But importantly now, the last five, six minutes or so, the Cobras doing a good job of not allowing the Arsenal to penetrate as easily into their deep backfield and getting the balls across midfield so that the Arsenal will have to work harder. Ball out on the near side. And put into play here, there's Caitlin Ketchum, number nine. She will start things off for the Arsenal. Loronga, number 13, goes back to Ketchum. Ketchum with a shot to the net, and that's going to be wide here of the near post. And a goal kick again for the Cobras. Coming up on the 29th minute of play here in the second half. The 64th minute of play overall here on this 70-minute match. We have no score. Ken Gonzalez for George Langevin Productions. We're here in Las Vegas, a 2007 Las Vegas Coaches Classic. Number 13 takes a shot on goal, and it's going to be just wide. Serrato was there as well. So Loranga nearly puts her squad up. Here to the near side. That's going to roll out. Number 14 into play. Rachel Carpenter. Laronga in the middle. She's going to take a shot to the goal. High into the air. And over the crossbar. Oh, man. Just about two inches. Too much right there. Laronga coming again so close. And another goal kick here for the Cobras who are just scraping by right now. They're tied. Their defense has just been all over the place here in this match. They've done a great job as they have just been pinned down in front of their net the entire match. Loronga again wants to move into the middle, catch him there as well as Yaya Jimenez, number three. We 
Now played 65 minutes, so just about five minutes remaining here in the match. Laranga can't go anywhere. Passes it out to the far side, number 10, Vanessa Serrato. There's Tina Benson going up against number six, Morgan Dale of the Cobras, and Dale's gonna win that one, and so the ball goes out and belongs to the Cobras on the far side. Arsenal again, coming inside. Right in front, oh, catch him shot is gonna be deflected. They gotta bring it back out. Another one to the net, and that ball is gonna go out across the back line. And so another goal kick for the Cobras, but a nice job, catch him right in front of the net. Took a shot on goal, and was deflected away by the defense. Sixty-sixth minute of play. Ball out on the near side will go over to the Arsenal. Number 14, Rachel Carpenter there. She'll put it into play. No score. 66 scoreless minutes thus far here in the match. Serrato. Whistle by the referee, and that's going to go against the Arsenal. So a break for the Cobras, and now they have the free kick here well up towards midfield. So they should be able to penetrate now on a nice kick. And that kick deflected out here by Arsenal. But a break for the Cobras as they'll put it into play Podmore here on the near side. You hear the whistle, just as we did in the first half. The game right next to us is a little few minutes ahead of us, and there's the end of their match. So we know that ours is coming to an end very soon. There's a push. That's going to go against the Cobras. Free kick. No. That's right. He had blown the whistle. Nobody heard it, and so they're going to start up. Free kick for Arsenal just below midfield. And they've really got a race now as we have hit the 67th minute of play out of 70 minutes. That ball out on the near side. Trying to get there in time was Yaya Jimenez, but couldn't get there. And Cobras put the ball into play. Rachel Carpenter keeps it from going out and then she places it in the middle of the field. Kristen Arnold, number 18, runs into some trouble looking for somewhere to go. Loranga takes a shot to the net and it's gonna be wide. She had number three, Adriana Jimenez, Yaya up there. Couldn't get it to her, goes out. And now they're gonna say it's a corner kick. Not sure how that happens, but a corner kick goes to the Arsenal, and they've got a huge break here with just about a minute or so remaining here in the match. High into the air. There's a header, putting it into the middle. Can the defense clear it out? Loranga was there. They can't get a shot on goal. The Cobras defense will hold up this time as they have the entire match. They do it again. Ball out of the near side. Cobras with the ball. I have the 69th minute of play right now. And let's see, there's the whistle and the end of the match. That was very close. So this match will end 0-0. The Arsenal and the Cobras. What a hard fought game. And I tell you, if you're the Cobras, you've got to be liking what you did here defensively. You were pegged down in your territory the entire match and didn't allow a score. Bittersweet, I, you know, I don't know. For the Arsenal, obviously you gotta have pat yourself on the back. He didn't allow the Cobras more than maybe two or three shots on goal. I don't believe any in the second half.
But then again, you've got to be a little bit disappointed. You had so many opportunities there to get the ball into the net and nothing fell. But then again, you've got to give credit to the other squad. So from the Las Vegas Coaches Classic here 2007, Ken Gonzalez for George Landrevin Productions. We hope you enjoyed this match. It was my pleasure to bring it to you. Until we see you again, be safe and have a great day, everyone. Final score, no score. Arsenal and Cobra. Hi, uh, this is Mark Ballet with the Modesto Ajax United Arsenal. I'm here with Caitlin Ketchum, uh, number nine, I believe, and Madison Zanotto. What number are you, Maddie? Eight. <laughs> number eight. Number eight. Um, Caitlin are uh, one of our star central midfielders, and Madison one of our star outside midfielders. Um, here we are in Las Vegas. Caitlin, why don't you tell us what your favorite thing is about the Las Vegas tournament? The fields. <laughs> uh, Madison, what's your favorite thing about the Las Vegas tournament? Being able to play on turf and like just being in Vegas. <laughs> Vegas is pretty good. Um, all right, and then tell me what your favorite thing is about being part of this uh, team. Friends. 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 That's a good one. To say friends, just being able to play soccer year round. Cool. I agree. Um, well, I definitely enjoy having both of you guys out here on the team, and um, hopefully we'll have a better second day to our tournament. And here I am with Rachel Carpenter, number 14, number 14, and Katie Foster, number 17. Um, Rachel, one of our uh, best outside midfielders, and Katie, without a doubt, um, one of our the best goalkeeper out here. Um, Rachel, what are your impressions of the tournament so far? Um, I think we could have done better um, and if we stayed focused more and put all our, um, be very aggressive and stuff, yeah. Thank you. What do you think, Katie? We need to have more shots on goal, like in, on frame, and put it to each other's feet. Okay. I agree with both of those. I think you guys are both very smart about the game. So tell me, what is your favorite thing about playing in the Las Vegas tournament? Um, I love, no, I, I really like playing on turf, except how the ball goes really fast, but yeah. Cool, the turf. The turf. Katie, what do you think? The competition. Uh, the competition. Great. Well, um, it's definitely a pleasure to have you both out here, and uh, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, here I am with Madison Arnebeck and Kristen Arnold. And Arnebeck. Yes. Uh, Madison, what number are you? Uh, seven. Kristen, why are you number? What number are you, Kristen? Eighteen. Eighteen. All right. Um, Madison recently hurt her ankle and is one of the toughest kids out here because she's playing with almost a fractured ankle, and um, I'm not sure if there's many kids much tougher out here. So, Madison, tell me what your favorite part about the uh, Las Vegas tournament is. Uh, actually, getting to play, I guess. Ooh, that's a tough one when you have a hurt ankle. Uh, Kristen, what's your favorite part of the tournament? Um. Like playing or right? Sure, play okay. If, if, if it's Las Vegas. No, it's no. Not, okay, right? it's it's my favorite part about it is seeing teams from other like parts of the country. Thank you. Cool. Well, um, Madison, um, we're looking forward to hopefully having your ankle feel a little bit better tomorrow, so you can get back in there and score some goals. Kristen, same thing for you. I hope that uh, tomorrow we get you up there and play some outstanding forward or some outside midfielder, and if things go well. Thank you, Mark. You're Thank welcome. Thank you, Marcus Allen. Um, here I am with Haley Smithers and Christina Benson. Uh, she goes by Tina. Um, Haley, what number are you? I'm number 11. Number 11. Haley's uh, been a very versatile player for us, either playing 
sweeper or outside back or outside midfielder or forward. Yep. And um, she, uh, I thought she was going to score a goal today. Uh, then we've got uh, Tina over here who's guest playing for us from Merced. So thank you very much for um, coming and playing with our team. What do you think is um, the first impression you think about our team? What's uh, different or cool or whatever you think? Um, I'm not, but I don't know, really. <laughs> um, Do they treat you all right? Yeah, nice. Very nice? Yeah. Cool. Haley, what do you think is your favorite thing about our team? Um, let's think. Oh, yeah. We usually all get along. We usually all get along. Cool. And, how about and we're, like, we're like a melting pot like I learned in history. Yes, we How are. we're like different kind of cultures and different attitudes and different personalities and they all just go together. And what's your favorite part of the Las Vegas tournament? Going to Circus Circus. That's a good answer. Uh, Tina, what do you think is your favorite part of this so far? Um, meeting the Canadian people and going to Circus Circus. Cool. That was cool. Great. Well, hopefully we have a good day of soccer tomorrow and um, we get to enjoy Circus Circus tonight. Thank you, girls. Here I am with uh, Madison Meyer, Maddie Meyer, and Stacy Maria. Unfortunately, poor Stacy over here has been sick today, and no matter how hard she's been trying, her body just won't let her play. So we're going to give her a break tonight, and hopefully she recovers and is ready to go for tomorrow because it's a long way to go to not play. What are your thoughts about the tournament so far, Stacy? Um, it sucks for me right now. Yeah, it really stinks. And uh, here over here, Maddie. Maddie's new to our team this year, and um, she hasn't been to this tournament before either. Madison, what are your thoughts of the tournament so far? I think that it's very organized, and I really like the fields. <laughs> the fields are cool. Uh, Maddie, with this being your first year with the team, what do you think is the best thing about your, that our team that you like? How everybody's really friends, and nobody takes it harsh when you kind of tell them like where to go on the field and stuff. Cool. I think that's very true. And um, I forgot that poor Stacy over here with her uh, cold isn't really much up for talking. So um, we'll give you one more chance. Any last impressions, anything you want to say to anyone else? Um, no, not really. All right, so hopefully we get Stacy better and we'll be ready to go tomorrow. Let's see ya. And here I am with Catherine Thomas and Vanessa Serrato um, and Black Bear. And um, first off, Catherine, what number are you? I'm number four. And Vanessa, what number are you? Ten. Number ten. Um, Catherine, you were here last year at this tournament. Um, what is your favorite thing you think about the Las Vegas tournament? Oh, the fields are really nice, except they hurt sometimes, but they, they're really smooth, so it's not like the field can mess up your passes. Cool. Uh, Vanessa, you were here last year also, um, but it was your first uh, experience with the team last year. Yeah. Um, what are your thoughts? What uh, do you like or dislike, or what are your thoughts about the team that make it different? The team? Well, the friendships and the coaching. Well, I definitely like that one. Uh, Black Bear, <laughs> what do you have to say? <laughs> oh, Black Bear's a little shy. Um, well, um, what are your thoughts? What do you think we can do tomorrow? Is it you think we can uh, recover from this and have a good w weekend? Well, I think everybody's going to be really mad tomorrow, so we're probably going to do really well and hopefully make it to the championship. I like that spirit. Um, Vanessa, what do you think is your favorite part of uh, Las Vegas? We're in Sin City. What's, what's better than that? <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, girls. Uh, here I am with uh, Felicia Romo and... Alex Laranaga Garcia and uh, Adriana Jimenez. Um, what number are you, Adriana? Three. Three. What number are you, Felicia? Fifteen. Oh, I put you under pressure. Alex, what number are you? Thirteen. Thirteen. Um, all right, I'm going to hand you the mic and ask you a question here. Alex, you've been with the team for just over a year right now. Um, what do you think is the favorite part about our team? Um, my favorite part about the team is that we all have our games where we try hard and sometimes our luck doesn't go well, but usually it does. And 
just um, how intense we get and how everybody gets along on a team. And when we pass, we're a really good team. So I like it. Alex, you look pretty comfortable in front of a mic. I think you might be a star someday. Um, Felicia, what do you think, um, what is your favorite part about the Las Vegas tournament? I, I wanted to question what she had. Okay, well, Felicia, what's your favorite part about the team? Okay, where do I begin? Okay, okay. I, <laughs> shut up, God. Okay, I, um, I love, love, love having, like, the friends on the team because, like, I see them all the time. Stop it! <laughs> and, um, um, I love, like, just being at practice and being able to know I'm on a great team and that, yeah, yeah, and, like, I love the tournaments we go to and Yaya, Yaya's pretty cool and her kind, her hyphy kind. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Felicia. We appreciate your uh, candid comments. Uh, well, I'll explain later. Um, Adriana, um, you had a rough first game. You had a good second game. Um, what do you think? Uh, what do you expect for the tournament tomorrow? Are we going to do good? Uh, yeah. All right. Mm, more intense. More intense. You think we can get two, a couple of wins tomorrow? Yeah. All right. So that means you got to score a couple goals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that thing. Um, all right, uh, Adriana, you have to tell me your favorite part of the team. Uh, the girls. Coach. All right. Oh. Okay. My favorite part of the tournament is just um, well, it's not really favorite part. But just, um, I think we could have um, done better in the Las Vegas tournament. Maybe then I would have liked it better. But I guess the fields are okay. Great. Felicia, you have an answer? Yes. Go ahead. Oh, oh yeah. Um, like, same with, Al same with me with Alex. Yeah. Um, yeah, but anyway, yeah, what I love about the tournament is, like the soccer games and all, but I love to be able to hang out with like Adriana. I won't say what her kind is because she gets mad. And then like everyone else and Alex because they're, they're really cool. They're really cool. Not done. Okay, so is Mark. Uh, yeah. Even though you're weird. <laughs> Stupid. No. <laughs> um, no. God, um, yeah, okay, yeah. And thank you, girls, and I hope we have a great day tomorrow.